This video demonstrates our preferred way of cleaning flux residue and oils off of a circuit board after soldering. It needs only three ingredients. One is some kind of solvent. What we're using here is 99% isopropyl alcohol. You could also use uh, a commercial flux remover. You could also use 91% alcohol. Second ingredient is a paper towel or a paper napkin. And the third ingredient is optional, although I do recommend it, and that is to use paper, uh, sorry, rubber gloves to protect your skin. Basically, what you do is you wet the paper towel with the solvent and you scrub the back of the board. Seems pretty basic, but it is incredibly effective. I have to credit Josh Kaplan for coming up with this technique. Uh, Josh is a tech here at Microphone Parts and Roswell Pro Audio, and he came up with this and showed it to me. And uh, I was frankly blown away because I'd been going out into the yard with uh, an old toothbrush and a spray can of aerosol solvent for years. Uh, and that's a terrible technique because all it does is you, you're basically brushing the gooey flux residue around and it makes the back of the circuit board a smeary mess. Uh, with this technique, what happens instead is all those bits of paper towel that are being shredded away and falling into the trash can are carrying with them the junk that you want to remove from the back of the board. So once that's done, we take a little brush uh, and brush off any leftover paper towel. And then you saw a little inspection there with a magnifying glass um, where we look and see if we've actually gotten the board clean. Uh, sometimes it is necessary to come back and do a second pass. It's just a repeat of the same thing again, um, paying special attention to any solder joints that were still a little bit contaminated, which can happen um, if they're too close together. If the joints are, are close together, then it can be hard to get in between them. One other thing worth noting is that this doesn't work if you don't trim your leads properly. So if the back of your board has exposed untrimmed leads that extend beyond the solder cone, then this technique won't work very well. In fact, you might even hurt yourself. You might uh, you know, rip a finger open as you're trying to rub. So uh, trim your leads down and then do what's pictured here. And uh, as you'll see at the end, the board will be extraordinarily clean uh, with not a lot of mess. So look in the description for a link uh, to a page where we list all of the specific uh, ingredients, uh, the magnifying glass, the gloves, the uh, solvent. Uh, you're on your own for the paper towel. But uh, hit that link in the description, and you'll see uh, a punch list of, uh, of, of these parts that you'd need to take care of this.